Hey Collective, it's your girl Stacy. <laughs> What's up y'all, how y'all doing? You know why I'm here, right? Because I feel like it, absolutely, absolutely. Um, remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, just when I... Whenever you see this message, when you're meant to see it, it's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please only take what resonates and leave the rest. So, I'm laughing, right? It's because, you know, I have, I got a download, right? And it's like I'm going to share it with you, but it wasn't just, it's not just for y'all, it's for me too. You know what I'm saying? Because it, actually, it was for me, you know? It was, you know... Um, you know, so I got this download. It's like you grew up. You know what I mean? It's like you grew up. You no long. You don't. You don't um, hold on to those childhood ideals anymore. You know what I mean? You know, like when we grow up, especially if we grew up in a you know difficult right um, situations happening in our lives, like most human beings. You know what I mean? And it's like. I don't know. It's just it's just a change, right? It's like like you're a grown woman now, right? And maybe it maybe just it just took my my insides to catch up with my physical. You know what I'm saying? My my mental to catch up with my physical body, my physical years. You know what I mean? It's like because when trauma starts, that's where it's kind of like we stop growing mentally because instead of us. It, Elevating and growing and, and, you know, learning, you know what I'm saying, and elevating our mindset to experience higher level things, you know, we, we get stuck with that trauma. It's like somebody throws a fucking boulder, you know, for us to carry, you know what I'm saying? It's fucking, they, basically that's what it is, right? They throw their their energy, their, they project their energy and they throw their karma into our fucking lap for us to carry that shit for the rest of our lives, right? It is what it is, because we ain't born with that shit. I ain't talking about, like, somebody's debt, like, physical money debt. I'm talking about, this is this is karmic debt that somebody done passed over you. Something they've been carrying around and giving it to you to carry. You know what I'm saying? As if it's your responsibility. But, you know, until you know, you don't, right? And we carry that for a very long time. But anyway, I said this to say, Spirit said to me today... You grew up, you know, you're a grown woman now and, and you're walking into a grown woman life. You hear me? You got grown woman opportunities in front of you that you chose, you picked because you was ready to walk in that grown woman life. No more of, you know, settling. Now this is my walk. This is something, this is, I'm walking in the energy that I've, I've always seen myself. No, actually, I didn't always see myself here because, you know, back in the day, it, it was more, I was more family oriented, you know what I'm saying? And, and my everything around me was focused around family or having family in my life, right? So here I am, now I'm walking through a brand new door and I'm walking through that door alone. I, I can't, I have to, I had to wisen up, I had to smarten up, right? I had to get myself and talk to myself and tell myself, self, listen. You want to feel because it all starts with me, right? How, you, how do you see yourself? I used to see myself as somebody that was needy, that was codependent, that wasn't independent of people around me. And it's like, you know, they, they, they validated me. So I thought. Now, I'm the one that validates me. I ain't got no excuses because anything going on in my life, I created it. And today I got peace in my life. You know what I mean? Because I created that for myself. I didn't do it because I had to. I did it because that's what I wanted to do for me. I wanted to love me. I wanted to show me the same love that I show other people. I want to feel it though. You hear me? I can buy the clothes and, and the makeup and the jewelry. I can do all of that, right? But deep down inside, that's where the work needed to be done. That's what I did. And it's always more. I promise. I ain't worried about never having something to do. So, you know, and then it's like I also said, you know, you're not, you haven't been really doing no video. But listen, 
I got to take care of myself too. I have a goal and you know, I want I am I'm rebuilding my life as well. You know, as helping others, you know what I'm saying? And one of my lessons was learning how to take care of me and stop giving so much of myself to others. Especially when it wasn't being reciprocated. You hear me? Saying no. I don't want less than what I feel for myself and less than I'm giving you. I don't want less than that. And I won't accept less than that. So, you be single. And it's all good. Because I learned how to love me. Right? I started making choices and, 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 and bringing things into my life that I want. That puts me in my grown woman status. How I feel. What makes me feel like a grown woman. And that's having my own stability. And never ever again having to depend on nobody. You hear me? And to never be dependent on anything or anyone. That's another one. Because you know, my life is too full. I have addictions and then I have real life shit. Had addictions. Ha. <laughs> Come on spirit. Because I'm not addicted to anything. And I don't. And I don't do things that will harm me or to put me in a position of addiction again, ever. And I don't allow nobody what people think and say about me to push me into that either. Because that's just mean. It is. Because I know what it feels like and I wish it on nobody, not even my worst enemy. You hear me? Which I don't have no enemies. That's your shit, not mine. <laughs> you heard <laughs> Anyway so anyway Spirit said look it's time to get into your grown No you are in your grown This is what you asked for You got a grown woman life now And in my eyes What's a grown woman A woman that can take care of herself A woman that can pay her own bills And make her own way Huh? Not just having the material things But being okay in her own skin With or without the material things You hear me Or the man next to you I'm 100% Stacy by myself. So I want an asset to my life and I'm going to be an asset to somebody else because I'm going to come whole and complete when I get there. And it took some time, but that's alright. I was willing to give it to me. I put off a lot of things for a long time for a lot of reasons that I made up in my head because at any time I could have did this. But I had to get here. You know what I mean? Feels good. But the spirit said you got a grown woman life. You got grown woman opportunities in front of you. These are things that you pick. You know? Now you, it's time to put on the new clothes. <laughs> the emperor's new clothes. <laughs> the empress's new clothes, right? I'm not a child. I'm a grown, grown woman. We can we can be older. We can be above forties and fifties, and, and that would be considered by society grown, right? But not mentally. Everybody ain't there mentally. Mentally, we still dealing with that shit that happened to us as a kid. We still running up and down the street like we 20, 30, 40 years old. Pants sagging and shit. Come on, for real. <laughs> Stop it. And I'm not, you know, I'm not judging nobody because I had to grow up too. I thought it was cool, right? To be out there hanging and drinking and smoking again. I thought that shit was cool, you know? I did. It was all good, you know? You got your food stamps, you got your welfare check, you got the kids, you know? You built, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and I went through a whole lot. Everybody did. The whole, you know, we did that shit. We did that shit. You know, but still, there's other areas in our life, you know, when we have to deal with that trauma, man, when we can no longer carry that mess, man, that keeps us from from being whole inside, you know, man, I'm, I'm grateful, and it's scary at the same time, right, yeah, because I didn't know how it's going to feel when I reached this, this part, this, at this, this part in my life, right, because I feel it. You know, it's like I'm standing a little straighter. You hear me? And and I feel good because I work really hard and I achieved a lot of things. 
when I just sat, when I just, it was just me. You know, you know what I mean? I, you know, I really don't, I don't miss being in no relationship. I don't. Because I have learned how to be by myself, right? Peep this shit. I sit and I say, how would I feel with somebody in my home? Like, you know, can I still pray like I like to pray? Because, see, somebody got to accept me for who I am. I'm not today. I ain't willing to give up nothing. You understand? And nor should I have to. Because I'm complete by myself. What I got to give up anything for? You complete by yourself. And we just want to commingle. That's what I want somebody that's complete by themselves. They know themselves. Know thyself. So ain't nobody worrying about somebody running off because we grown. We grown women and men. Or doing this or allowing this and that in. Uh uh. This, see, this is what I'm talking about. That solid shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. We talking about let's 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 make vacation time. Let's do some things together. Let's build something. Let's give back to our community. Let's work together to do that. We ain't got to have no million dollars because it's all good. We got to have peace though. Come on now, I'm talking too much, ain't I? <laughs> we got to have peace. I'm telling you, and it has to be solid. Cause ain't no room for fear. Don't be afraid of me because I'm not afraid of you. If you're sincere in your integrity where it's supposed to be, where's there room for fear? Only for growth and building. And that's what I'm talking about today. We all got to pass. We all had to pass through the fire. <laughs> you hear me? And once you get through the fire, it becomes the past. <laughs> that's when the fire is out. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> yeah, put that fire out, you know. And all you gotta do is be willing. All right, let's get us a um, oracle of the universe, Cosby. What's the message for us? I'm gonna get one, then I'm gonna get us a reading, and will you read this at the end? Okay, let's see if it confirms what we pick up in the energy. Okay. Thanks for kicking it with me. <laughs> Y'all already know I'm gonna share that shit with you, right? It's up. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Because like what would be the purpose, right? What would be the purpose? I can sit here and read cards all day long and tell you what I see, right? But what's really happening? What's behind the scenes? How's it really working? How's it really working for you? Life is good, you know. I don't have everything I, that I imagined. Ooh, but look what we got. Look what we got, y'all. Self trust. This is my favorite card in this deck so far. I really don't know the whole deck. But, you know, I flip through them and stuff. And this one, I'm going to tell you why this one is my favorite, right? You see it says necklace. And I have all these moles around my neck, right? And, and you know, since I was a child. And I used to always be self-conscious of it, right? But now when I look in the mirror, I say, look, God put the universe on your neck. Because I'm into astrology, I love the stars and stuff like that. And I like, God put the universe on your neck. Trust yourself. My spirit. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. Look, vows on the bottom. Vows, commitment. Yep, the commitment that the Lord gave us, right? All we have to do is surrender to Him and He'll, he'll give us the... <sighs> Our wildest dreams and some, be, way past that, right? So, yeah, I don't uh, let's get some of this. Let's get a couple of these. Let's do it. Yeah, let's get a couple of these. This is where I've been led, so I'm going where I'm led. <laughs> Spirit, what's the message here? Self trust, release childhood I ideals, grown woman, grown man life. Okay, that's what this message is grown woman, grown man life. Okay, take it out, it resonates. Spirit, look at this attachments and then their throat chakra. Speak your truth, amen. Speak your truth. That's right. Spirit, what's the message? And that necklace could also be the throat chakra as well. Alright. So that's telling me somebody's gifted. Okay. Gifted in in 
and using their voice. Their eye chakra look shining bright in the universe. You see that? Come on now. Come on now. And spirit is saying, trust yourself. Trust yourself. If you if you felt like, you know, you know, weren't solid about what direction you're going in, weren't solid about spirit said who you are. <laughs> Trust yourself. You are who you say you are. Mm, come on, spirit. 38 could be significant. 83 could be significant. Spirit, what's this message for the collective? Shit. Ooh, look at that. Garden in the gate. Ready to make that walk. Ready to go through that gate. To, to step into your new into your new life, your new world, the world that you created. You see that, right? A, a, a clean um, clean slate is what I'm hearing. But I heard palette. That's what I heard. Thirty could be significant. Three could be significant. So what's this? The garden and the gate. Listen. Door to personal healing and happiness. Come on, spirit. Ooh, wait, 34 could be significant. 43 could be significant. Spirits talking. Ooh, wait. Listen, look, and look at this, right? You see, that's a, this is a child, right? About to step through that gate. That grown woman. Yeah, you're stepping into the door to your personal healing and your happiness. You hear me? The life you created. Come on now. Trust yourself. You're on the right path. Come on, Spirit. Can I get one more? And then we're going to get some tarot, I think. <laughs> All depends on how they guided me, Spirit. What's this message here? What I got over here for the cards? All right. I think I got some. I got some. We're going to use my chatty death, bro. I think that's the one they want me to use. Spirit, what's this message? Please and thank you. Happy Friday, y'all. I'm going to do the live with questions on Sunday. Okay? So. If you want your question answered live, you can. it can be anonymous. However, just email me. Alright? Before Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> just to let you know. We'll do it Sunday. Because I know I think there's a lot of things going on this weekend. It's Father's Day. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it on Sunday. Yeah, because most fathers are going to be out doing their thing, golfing or cooking with their boys, whatever. What's we got here? And we got the thinking man. Okay, then. 46 could be significant. 64 could be significant. Mm -hmm. The thinking man. Mm -hmm. Focused. Uh, knowledgeable. Very smart. Very, um, with those feathers in the cap. Um, what's that word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for, spirit? Somebody that is educated, financially stable, mm. well-rounded individual. That's what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Well-rounded. Someone that listens to their intuition. They know about life. Okay, let's say you're street smart and you're spiritual, spiritually adept. Adept. I got to Google that one. A debt. Capable, I think that's what, what it means. Mm -hmm. You have ideas. A lot of ideas. Look at this. Second chakra. Man, listen. Mm -hmm. Second chakra, Archangel. What's second chakra? Uh, the root chakra. Sacral chakra. How you feel. Yeah, how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself in this world, your purpose, right? How you see the world. 46 can be significant, 64, 36, 63, and we got 38, 83, right? Got a lot of threes out here. Three, 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 four threes. Google that angel number. Second, okay, so how you feel, thinking, man, do, trusting yourself. Do you trust, oh, spirit, come on, do you trust what the downloads that you're getting, the information that you're getting, the, you know what I'm saying? Do you, do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself? 
you learn how to trust yourself. Not only did you learn your own value and your self-worth, you learned how to trust your own intuition. Even when it was even when it went against everything, you know what I'm saying, that that on the physical made sense. That's man, listen. Male or female. Cause this thinking man can be a, a woman in a feminine energy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Finding a way to express yourself. We found a way to express yourself. Wow. Ooh, somebody envies that boy. We gonna put this. We gonna put this from right here by the candle. I got a white candle burning, y'all. Peace. You hear me? Peace on earth. One day we're gonna wake up and we, we're gonna be a, a news break. There's peace in the world. You hear me? What you fighting for? Nothing belongs to you. It's supposed to be here for our, for everyone to enjoy. Mm-hmm. That's my thoughts on it. That's how I feel. Let's get some tarot on this. What's going on, my collective? You have somebody that envies um, you. Somebody sees that you have, you know, grown up. And I feel like I'm talking to somebody at least above 30. I do with all these 30s, 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 40s. Mm, I feel like there's somebody definitely above 30, okay? 30 and above. Let's do that. This could even be somebody that's younger than you, that's envious of you, and you're older. Maybe it's because of how you've healed and how you've grown up. That's all right if you're in, uh, above 30, you know, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, you still here, 90, you still here. It's all good. As long as it happens, you know what I'm saying. I honestly, if 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 um, if you know, I used to think that I was grown. Twenty two twelve. I you know what I'm saying. When I had kids and shit, and I had my own place, I thought I was grown, but I wasn't grown because I was still doing immature shit. I was still looking for validation in sex and men and drugs. You know what I'm saying? I was still, you know, ripping and running up and down the street, opening myself up to allow other people all kinds of energies into my life. You know what I mean? That's not very healthy. Well, it's not very mature. I put it like that. Because a lot of things was acceptable. You know what I mean? When you're raised in that environment, those things are acceptable. Then at some point, you know, you got to grow up. You have to stop playing childish games and playing with childish things. All right. Time's to try to send the Bible. You have to get just take yourself off the, uh, wean yourself off the milk. Now it's time for solid food. You know, things that are going to help leave a legacy that, that's going to impact others in a positive manner. It's time to grow up. It's the, how, how do we feel about ourselves? Are we still in that energy where we don't believe that we are worth Way more than some BS or some one-sided relationships or just having somebody in your in your in your energy just because and ain't nobody contributing to the to the environment except you. You're the mama, the girlfriend, the wife. You all of that. Come on now. I'm just saying. And I'm only speaking from a female point of view, but you men you too, you know what I'm saying? When do you, when you stop jumping in these relationships where you want to control it because you got the money, and stop dealing with people that you know or don't have as much as you, so you can be in control of how you treat them. Let's be honest. Let's tell the truth, right? And and stop being scared to approach a woman that's on your level, right? Because you know that mentally you really ain't grown up yet. You still play little fucking games. You know what I mean? You still try to make a bitch jealous and insecure just so you can have the upper hand. You know, and then go, see, you're childish. That's why I don't mess with little girl. Yeah, go on with that bullshit. You do mess with them because on water seeks its own level. I don't even see what you're looking like, where you at. Come on now. Spirit, what's this message? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Playing little games, you know, want to look good. You want to want to act like women are chasing you. Ain't nobody chasing y'all's asses, and you know it. You got the now. You got the dangle of carrot in order to get somebody to come in your direction. So stop playing. 
the wheel of fortune. There's a shift. <laughs> There's a shift. But we ain't there no more, right? We finished playing those games, right? We're, we're talking about authenticity, right? That's where we're at. That's what this is about. I'm just saying, you know, if, we, if you're still doing that stuff, then this this is not your video. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, that's right. Things have changed. Your life has changed. And things are coming up. You hear me? If you had to deal with things that kept you in that low vibration where you couldn't elevate, where you couldn't get past it so that you could step into this role for yourself, yeah, that's changing. That's changing. And, and it's like now you can see it. Before, it was a thought, right? It was it was a fantasy. It's something that you had to strive for. You had to make set goals so that you could step into this role. So you could make sure you had the tools you needed, right? To equip yourself for the role that you're about to step into. Look, action. <laughs> action. <laughs> it's about the it's happening. <laughs> it's happening. Yes, 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 yes. Quick. Man, listen. <laughs> look at this, look at this Victory, listen It's here <laughs> You made it, you did it Hello, you overcame any obstacles Any kind of blockages Any kind of conflict Any kind of competition You came through And you know why you did it? For you <laughs> Come on spirit Listen <laughs> The last, somebody envious of that though. Let me tell you something. Somebody envious that you overcame. I'm telling you. We already know because you're over there in the cut. Looking at you shining. Listen. And it ain't that, you, that you're that you trying to, you know, be out here shining. And I'll do, but what can you do? You can't help it when, you, when it's good on the inside. It's going to show on the outside. Ain't nothing you can do about that part. And don't try to cover it up. Listen. They go your ten of pentacles. They go that stepping into that peace, that comfort, that stability. That's make it that the bills get paid. You got a decent job. You know, you carry yourself with respect and integrity. You hear me? Ain't that what you wanted? You overcame it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And that's something we have to find within ourselves because we all make mistakes. And we have to overcome the guilt and the shame around that. Right? But when you accept it. And say, listen, yep, I, yep, I made a mistake, but listen, this is, this is where I'm going. I'm not gonna keep looking back at that shit, because that's only gonna keep you stuck. Look at how you overcame the obstacles, those things that you've done, that were meant to hold you and keep you right there. Mm -mm. Nope. Release childhood ideals. There's something else about that part too. I wrote it, but I didn't take the time to write what what out the information I was getting. <laughs> what we got here? We got a Knight of Cups. Okay. Young energy. Night energy. Uh. Still, you know, not really serious about love. Maybe this is the energy you're in, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you're in the energy of, you know, uh, still exploring. Because, like I said, we can be grown-ups and we can have dealt with a whole bunch of things, but we were still in that mentality, right? It's the mentality that we're in when we're in those relationships. Sometimes we ain't ready. You know, we want, we want to think we are. Okay, because we, we look like we're supposed to be doing this, right? But mentally, we don't be ready. Knight of, of Cups kind of energy. You know? This is this is like energy of, of, of being, you know, wanting, still needing that security. You feeling me? Hmm. Young. I'm, I'm still picking up, like, some immaturity. And this, and, and I don't mean, like, immaturity, like, you know, you could be your your emotions can be stunted as well. You know what I mean? How do you you don't even know what real love is because the love that you were getting before wasn't even love. It was somebody dumping their shit on you. So what is love? This is this Knight of Cups energy. What is it? Because I used to think it was allowing people to dump their shit on me, but they but I was there, they stayed. As long as I was taking their shit, right? Mm, thank you, Spirit. What's this what's going on here? 
Nine of Wands. Very guarded because of so much, you know, untrusting. Somebody has a, um, a trust issue, especially when it comes to love, when it comes to their emotions. All right, somebody's very guarded, okay? We got the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. What else we got here? Anything else, Spirit? Hmm. But with this Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Wands here, I feel like you're gonna over you, you've overcome these things, or you're going to overcome these things. You're in that process, okay? Yeah. Listen, I can't make it up. The Hangman and the Star. You in the process right now, healing from whatever you know emotional traumas you may have gone through you know you're healing you're a star you're not only healing yourself but you're healing others yes sir yeah and if you feel like you're stuck it's not you're not stuck anywhere you know what i'm saying you're just you're, you're gonna be in the position that you're in until you're ready to release yourself until you're ready to get up and and go back out into the world mm-hmm Listen, listen, you healed, you healed enough. Who spirit said you healed enough? This is healing, this is recuperating, this is real re strategizing, reevaluating, restructuring, healing, allowing yourself to heal inside out, not putting the band aid on and getting back up and going back to play. No, listen. Letting go, moving the common waters for real, for real. Even scared because there's still some things that could, you know, trigger you or you know what I'm saying, but you did it anyway. Even scared, you surrendered. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, spirit. You did it, you moved forward anyway. Mm. Mm. You had to heal, especially um, if if uh, you had a family or a home or something that things just didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? This could have really hurt. Could have really broke you. This definitely was a tower moment. You know what I'm saying? And, and a and a wheel of fortune, like things really changed. And when everything, all you know changes, yeah, you have to fall back and restructure. Or you could just run around blind, you know what I'm saying, and try to cover it up. But we ain't doing that today, right? We ain't grown woman and grown man shit today. We ain't running into the, to the drugs, to the alcohol, to the women. Nah, we going within and we're saying to ourselves, listen, I know that I got to do this by myself. What is it going to take for me to be who I am? See myself as and not how other people see me. Come on, spirit. And I'm the one that's responsible for getting there. Nobody else. Listen. Spirit, what's going on here? You trusted yourself. You trusted your intuition. You and you surrendered, you know. Yeah, you went and you did the work. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Collaborations. Building. Work. Somebody could have a new job coming. I told you somebody, look, grown man, grown woman. You got grown man, grown woman opportunities coming to you. Okay? Somebody definitely be getting a new opportunity, a new job. Starting a business. Listen, grown woman, grown man. You learned a lot of lessons. You matured. You release what no longer serves you. Listen, look at this. Ten of Swords. Mm -mm. Wow. What you did and what you did or didn't get. Four cups, rejection, isolation, abandonment. Look, betrayal, all of that. You had a lot of lessons to learn. Look at you now. You got your back turned to that shit. As you should. Shit that used to you felt 
humiliated or embarrassed or shamed of. You turned your back on that shit. You hear me? People not giving to you or giving to you only because they wanted things from you. You know what I'm saying? Not unequal give and take. You turned your back on that. Being rejected, especially when it comes to love and your emotions. You turned your back to that shit. You hear me? You went within. I can't make it up. The cars are talking. You on your grown woman, grown man stuff. Do you hear me? The thinking man is like the king of swords. This is the queen of swords. You hear me? You learn some stuff. Come on now. Listen. And the ace of pentacles behind it. This is your new beginning. You hear me? Trust yourself. You learn how to trust yourself to go with that. And it's paying off for you. Let's see what your card says. Where my deck at? Where's the box? I'm right there. Let's get the card. Let's get that home. And then I'm going to let y'all go. So we got 38 here. Uh, uh. Okay. Necklace. Self-trust. Develop your powers from the inside out. What did I say? One of the most transformational aspects of self is strong self-trust. If you trust your judgment and self, you can operate from a position of strength and stability. Trust your gut. Come on, spirit. Congratulations. I'll see y'all. This is...